All problems one encounters in their lifetime can be solved by the individual. An individual lives in their own reality in a very real sense. It is only through the interpretation of the data brought in by their sensory organs, then processed in their brain, that someone defines their world. Brains are proprietary. Unlike snowflakes, no two are identical. So, all problems one encounters directly relate to them. Some are objective and also relate to others, but not all. Often a problem is completely subjective, how information affects the experiencer. Mental states directly affect the physical body. Happiness and the sense of impending danger, for example, will use different nutrients in different amounts for various reasons. Someone who is stressed will have a heart rate higher than someone who is relaxed. This wears out the body if continuous. It simply never gets a chance to perform maintenance on any of its individual systems, and thus the deprecation and compromise of such results in earlier than expected failure. If a problem with information can be dealt with quickly, then the individual now benefits from being in a state that is far better suited to analyze data and perform the necessary physical tasks required to actually solve the problem in an objective sense, if this is deemed to be an appropriate course of action. Words by themselves carry no information. A language the interpreter cannot understand is without message. So words, written or spoken, rely on the receiver. There is, of course, the original intent of the sender speaker, but for that information transfer to be accurate, both parties involved must be incredibly comprehensive in their communication. To efficiently deliver data to another with as little as possible dilution or distortion requires an understanding of the target's processing tendencies. This takes time. All the time an individual has before death could be spent understanding one other person's interpretation of language in order to ensure the accuracy of information transferal. This is the advantage of long-term relationships with others. It is an active activity. Understanding of this type and depth is simply not an effect of proximity, although one party could be actively observing another and gain insight of some type. This is always limited to the observer, however, because the data is collected is collated using the previous standards and methods available. This results in only how the individual relates to the other. Predictions of another's actions are useful, but ignore the underlying causes and rationales behind those actions, which could foreseeably cause additional problems in that space of time never achieved, the future. Most problems take significant amounts of time to solve, and, to, and breaking the larger, overarching equation down into smaller tasks is an effective method of accomplishing a goal. Since humans have a finite amount of time, one that is permanently undefined, this especially gives a scalable quality to progress. Working diligently towards one's destination is far less stressful and thus healthier when a percentage of completeness can be tallied. Wasting one's time must be avoided at all cost. That is not to say that time spent being physically inactive and vacuous of thought is wasted. Such states are useful and necessary for the proper functioning of one's systems. They also give an opportunity for the organism to repair and reinforce the needed infrastructure. However this message finds you today, give it some thought. I promise, it will be worth it.